The supplies that we'll be using are two skeins of yarn, one solid and one variegated, an F hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and two markers. And these are some abbreviations that we'll be using throughout the pattern. Start with a slip knot and then you'll begin to chain uh, 45 and make sure to chain loosely. To do so, hang on to the working yarn while you do your pull through and that should leave the seed humps that you need for your stitches in the back. And here is the little bumpies for the seeds and then here is the front of the chain. Once you have your 45 chains, grab your color B and do one more pull through. Turn so you can find your first seed and go into the seed. Take both your tail and your working yarn and pull through the seed and the loop on your hook. That's for one slip stitch. Grab a marker and get it on that first loop. That will be easier for you to see when you do your second row. That will be your last stitch. Drop your tail and get the other color uh, A out of your way. And that's slip stitch two, slip stitch three, go into the seed, pull through, pull through, four, and five. Go straight into half double crochets. One, yarn over, go into the seed, yarn over, pull through three, two, three, four, and five. You go straight back into doing five slip stitches and that is pretty much the pattern repeat. So to review, row one is five slip stitches, five half doubles, five slip stitch, five half doubles. You'll repeat that until you get to the end and here I am at the end doing five slip stitches. Your last slip stitch will go in the last seed right by the knot. Go ahead and finish that slip stitch, grab a marker and put it in that last loop. That will become the slip stitch top of the first slip stitch in your next row. So row two, go ahead and turn your work and you're going to be working in the back loops only and you're pretty much going to repeat row one with five slip stitches, five half doubles. Uh, again, in the back loop only. You can see here that I'm just using the back strand from the previous slip stitches. And you'll repeat that to the end. Five slip stitches into five slip stitches, five half doubles into five half doubles, all the way across until you get to the end. You'll end with five slip stitches and we're coming up here to see where we'll have our marker. That's number four and then hang on to your marker and find that last loop and then go ahead and change back to color A and do the pull through of that slip stitch. Remove your marker and now put it in the loop before you begin row three. Then you'll go ahead and you'll turn your work. Notice the first slip stitch goes into the same stitch as you did your pull through. These next two rows are just going to be two rows of total slip stitches in the back loops only. Here I am at the other end getting ready to do my last slip stitch in the stitch with the marker. Slip stitch in that last stitch Pull through, remove the marker, put it in on the loop on the hook. Go ahead and turn your work. And you're going to do another row of slip stitches in the back loops only, all the way across. And here we are at the end. We're going to be getting ready for a color change back to color B. Finish off with your slip stitches in the back loop only. Grab that marker. Do your pull through with color B, but this time we're going to do a chain two. Here's a chain one and a chain two. And that chain two counts as a half double crochet. 
go ahead and remove your marker and put it in the loop on the hook. Turn your work. Now you just need four half double crochets because you're counting that chain two. So skip that first space that the chain's in, two, half double crochet, three, half double crochet, back loops only still, four, and here's number five. You go right back into five slip stitches. So this row is chain two, has a half double crochet, four half double crochets, all back loops only, five slip stitches, back loops only, five half double crochets, back loops only. You'll end with five half double crochets, and you'll start the next row the same way with a chain two. So getting these last couple, and in with the marker, chain one, chain two, remove your marker, place it on the loop on the hook. That's counting as a half double, turn your work, do four more half double crochets, right back into the five slip stitches and continue that pattern to the end. Change back to color A and you will continue doing two rows of slip stitch in each stitch. At this point you will repeat the pattern with five slip stitches and then five half doubles. And then you'll repeat the rows that follow so you'll get two more wave patterns. Go ahead and continue the pattern until you have ten sections of waves with the slip stitch lines in between them. Here are the 10 wave patterns and they should measure approximately six and a half inches from the widest point to the widest point. Go ahead and fold it in half with the wrong side out. Remove your stitch marker and insert your hook and get ready to do the seam. Go through both of the loops on the one side and on, and on the second layer. Go ahead and pull through like a slip stitch. Now you're going to just go through the front loop of the first layer and the back loop of the second layer and do a slip stitch. You'll do that for approximately 19 or 20 stitches. I like to put my thumb hole in the middle. If you want it a little higher to the top, do a few more stitches. For the thumb hole, go ahead and go through both stitch tops on the front layer and both stitch tops on the back layer. Pull through and finish out the slip stitch. Now you're going to slip stitch up just one side of the glove for six slip stitches. That's one and two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and count up six stitches that you're going to skip on the front side. Insert your hook in the seventh through both stitch tops and then go to the back layer and go through both stitch tops as well. Pull through for a slip stitch, and that is a thumb hole complete. And now that your thumb hole is complete, you'll go ahead and go back to slip stitching in the front loop of the front layer and the back loop of the back layer, all the way to the end.
go ahead and chain one, cut a length of yarn, leave enough so that you have some for tucking in the tail, pull through, and a knot is formed, remove your marker, and cut a length from color B as well. Thread your needle and go ahead and go into the stitches, fasten it off. I kind of do like a little spiral around them. Uh, the stitches aren't all lined up, so you kind of have to work your needle in around them. When you pull your yarn through the stitches, don't pull it too tight or you'll end up um, making it gathered there. Skip one strand of yarn and then go back up the stitches. And go ahead and pull it through and trim the tail. You'll fasten off these ends as well, just tucking them in. Turn it right side out. Find the thumb hole and you can insert your hand.